Happy yeah. New Year 2015. We are in the house. We made it here in Katy, Texas. Yes, I found my new talent. I'm going to sing to y'all in 2015. No, I'm going to sing. Well, I'm going to pop my collar. It's 2015 officially. It's not the I can pop my collar 2015 like, officially. Like. We have some great things coming up in 2015. 2014 was an awesome awesome year it was the very birth good. of very now good. you know too we moved to the Cato Texas area so it was a lot of things that happened in 2014 so we are so excited for you all to be able to take time out of your schedule to join me and my beautiful bride here we are so overwhelmed with the things and the responses that we are getting so far our year our first quarter is almost packed we have things already planned already for january we'll be going to teach in a family ministry this upcoming weekend teaching them on things and about being ambassadors for the kingdom about being armor barrels for the kingdom which we have yes, lived through for yes, seven years yes. so then after that we get a chance to travel some in february we get a chance to travel some in march there are some great things that are happening already for us in the first quarter so thank you all for tuning in again yes, we are yes, expecting yes. Thank you, great thank you, things thank you. and not only that yes. we want to thank all of our sponsors we love you all, all thank you thank you to us we thank mm -hmm. you so much we yes really appreciate this is good ground we thank you that you support us we mm -hmm. love you and we send blessings to your house for sowing into yes. this one and we also thank all of you who have been sending us emails and yes. text messages questions keep them coming Huh? Keep them coming. Keep oh, the yeah, questions keep coming. coming. Like, huh? <laughs> In certain areas, thank you for texting us and yes. calling us and emailing us and praying for us. Yes. Those of you have That's reached key. out to us and said that you were praying for us mm -hmm. and you were fasting for us in certain areas. Yes. We really appreciate it. And we wanted to take this time to thank you, thank you. before we started this next It segment. has been awesome so far because we even had people that, that God has been waking up in, in, in the morning time and just praying for us and doing things. So right. we are so thankful for that. Keep praying for you all. Right. Keep donating to what we're doing here in this area. Those that want to be a part, continue to donate. You can go to our website to do that. Right. This is good ground. We have some great upcoming it, meetings coming up. We have our first men's empowerment breakfast coming up yeah. in between February and March. We're trying to find the right location right now. So things are kicking off great for us in 2015. So thank you all for being a part. Yep. And that brings us to our point of today, which yes, is, so is fasting. Fasting. Fasting and praying, which is the biggest fast for the year. Fasting is, it seems to be a traditional thing that people do every everybody single year. Wanna everybody want to fast, just like everybody want to go to the gym for the New Year's resolution right. and drop off That's those. New Year's resolution the drop off, fast. <laughs> right, to fast. I'm going to go to church. Right, I'm going to go to church this year and do things. So it becomes a fad, it becomes a tradition. But well, we want to give you all a topic today. We're going to say to fast or not to fast. And we want to teach you all some practical things. We're going to give you three subtopics. And of course, we're going to give you some things, some items to go with those subtopics to help you understand what is a fa what is a fast so again fasting and praying is what we're going to discuss the first thing is just to explain what is a fast we want to, we can explain to them a fast is something that every kingdom citizen should do consistently not once a year not once a month but consistently i know in my life we are practicing doing at least once a week because a fast is just like changing your oil in your car or Food, just like you feed your your physical body, a fast is something to help feed your spiritual man so you can gain a closer relationship with the king. So fasting back in the day, it gives back in the old Bible days of New Testament and the Old Testament as well, it was something that a lot of the ambassadors at that time they used to get gain strength anointing knowledge and just a closeness so they can have crystal clear hearing of what the father's telling them i know that it's very important for me especially as a man a family man i always want to make sure that i hear exactly what my king is telling me to do for the destiny of my family and i want you to hear because i don't want you leading us wrong yeah i don't want <laughs> i ain't going in no ditch with no you, sir right? don't want <laughs> yes we have to so that's why it's important for you to do it you always want to stay connected you always want to stay plugged in and this helps you stay plugged in all the time so you can make sure that you have the right direction especially these days here 2015 is going to be a year i'm telling you now prophesying this to you now that 2015 for us is going to be mind-blowing so that's why we're fasting as a family because we are walking this journey together we want to make sure that everybody my wife and i our children that everybody is connected together into their source to find out exactly what the king has for us this year right and fasting too back in history times as adrian was saying earlier when people fasted, mm -hmm. um, to give you a, a practical definition, yes. 
or Hebrew definition when they fasted it and just basically meant to cover their mouths. Yes. They, they went without eating. They went without drinking, mm -hmm. some of them. And there was more than just one fast. I know you may be hearing now a lot about the Daniel Daniel's fast. fast. Um, but there were more than just the Daniel fast that people did mm -hmm. back in the day. So when you fast, it is saying that you're covering your mouth, you're mm -hmm. giving up food, you're giving up drink, giving up you're giving, giving up anything up. that your flesh would want to desire. Yes. And that has been taking you off track from actually spending time with God and being focused and hearing. Distractions. You just kind of put it to the side mm -hmm. and says, okay, I'm going to put you under control and I'm going to not feed you. I'm not going to yes. give you what you need until you line up. Yes. And so when you kind of do that, you allow the spirit that's within you to now mm -hmm. be in position to hear from God and move in the ways that God wants you to do. And fasting is basically petitioning God for particular reasons. Yes. You wanna, when you fast, you want to make sure that you have a reason for fasting. Yes, not you to just do to be, it. Right. You want to make sure that you are seeking God for knowledge or, your, or mm -hmm. understanding or relationships. You have a purpose behind it. You're yes. not just going with the flow and have no idea because yes. then you're basically dieting. <laughs> and that's what I'm you are dieting. Doing. You want to make sure you're not going into the dieting stage because there are so many people say, oh, I'm going to go all veggie and I'm going to do all <laughs> and this. And their main purpose is just to lose weight. <laughs> and I understand the heart is good, good intentions, but yes. if you're doing the fast, you have to make sure that you have a purpose with fasting. Mm -hmm. And in that fasting comes with praying, yeah. praying and reading your word and all of that kind of stuff that we're going to get ready to talk about later yes. on. So stay tuned because we have some really great information that we hope is practical for you and will help you get a better and clearer understanding of yes. what it is to fast yes. or not to fast. Mm -hmm. So we'll start off. We just kind of gave you a, just the first point of what is, you know, fasting or praying. What is a fast and what is a, and what is fasting and praying? I'm sorry. So it shouldn't be a fad. Again, we've already covered that, that it shouldn't just be something you do as a tradition. And then don't focus so much on what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. We practice here in this household. We try to practice the, uh, just a foundation, the Daniel's fast. The Daniel's fast is simply no food and no, no meats. No sweets and no breads. It's just three things. Don't try to say, well, well, should I eat eggs? I should eat this. Should I should just no meats, no sweets, no breads. Make it simple. Don't make it confusing. But the main purpose of the fast is to gain a close relationship with the Father. So, a lot of individuals they spend hours and hours and hours. It's okay to plan exactly what you're going what you're going to eat. Matter of fact, we know that we have a a great friend of ours that has a whole cookbook on what to cook right. for fasting, which is a great tool too as well. Call us about that. We we'll help you out with that as well. But don't spend so, too much time uh, debating on what you should eat. Focus exactly on what you want out of the fast. Well, allow people to put you in condemnation yes. because you have different mm -hmm. people who are on different levels in fasting. Yes. So if you are a newbie mm -hmm. in fasting, then your process may be a little bit yes. different than mine and Adrian's mm -hmm. or someone else who's been while. fasting for 10 years or 8 years or mm -hmm. 11 years. It may be different. So yes. when you get with people and they're cutting out the milk and the cheese and right. the dairies and certain things. When they're going deeper, it's right. because they've already mastered mm -hmm. the first process yes. of fasting. So take it as you see fit to do it, but at least you're submitting. The whole purpose is to submit to God. Yes. Submit to God and Show His that you're ways doing and it. understanding and mm -hmm. denying yourself and says, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to get myself lined up. And then once you do that, then you follow the pace that yes. you feel comfortable doing until you can grow. It's yes. based on faith. Faith mm -hmm. to faith. You grow from faith to faith yes. to faith. So don't allow people to put you in bondage when they're doing certain things. Yes. Make sure that you're complete and whole in that. Yeah, because we have to, again, she stated that you have to start, just start off with the, you, we started off with the Daniels fast. I know when we first did it, it was pretty, it was a struggle that first year we <laughs> did it. We had to really hold on to each other, make each other do it. But as time went on, our bodies began to get used to doing just the Daniels fast. And we had to take it deeper to where we had to do some days just nothing but water. Right. Just a few days with just nothing but water, uh, maybe a tea or so, just to keep our body's going but then you have to the more you want to like now i'm in a season two where i want more of the king a lot more of the king a lot more vision a lot more anointing so of course i'm going to go deeper but take your time figure out exactly what you want to do mm -hmm. make a plan and just stick to the plan simple as that so the next thing is why should you fast that'll be number two for us why should you fast the number one reason why you should fast is key you want to gain a closer relationship with the king that's what is that's the purpose of the fast a closer relationship with the king so you can understand exactly who you are catch a vision 
he can reveal things to you a lot clearer, especially for your family. These mm -hmm. days, you want to make sure that your family is protected. The king can give you insight on things to come to your family. The king can give you insight on positive things. He will give you insight on positive things for your family. The visions that you have for your family will come to life. And also to uh, to add to that, too, this is an opportunity for you to get rid of distractions. I know our mentor used to say, turn down the words volume right. so you can hear the king speak to you all the time. So a fast back in the day, it used to be, uh, I would say, Old Testament. They only focus on just what they eating. They they eliminated certain things out of their diet. But of course, in the hard times, now we have so many other distractions. Right. You have TV, you have Facebook, internet. you have the internet, Social you have internet. a whole lot of things. Music. That music. Godly or or, it's a lot of things that are distracting yeah. you. So it's more than just uh, just giving them food. Food is the number one or the main resource that you want to do to uh, push your flesh man away to allow your spiritual man to become stronger. But of course, watching TV, like now, even with the television, we only focus on things that are going to build our spirit. We don't watch anything. And again, this is the Singleton household. This right. is not your household. This is what we do here because we really want to dive and we really want more from the king. So of course, we push away everything we know for these 21 days or 30 days or however long we decide to go, that we're only going to focus on things that can build our spirit man. And that's good because also with our family, if mm -hmm. you're uh, individual who has a family yes um you want to get your family involved mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you all discuss One the, the topics of what you're going to discuss or pray and cover uh during the fast and then talk with your kids so that when mm -hmm. you say we're going to get rid of the distractions the video games yes. the cell phones the computers it's all mm -hmm. those things that can kind of pull them away when you talk to them and give them an opportunity to suggest things to mm -hmm. give away because like with us yeah. we give the importance of fasting and then we kind of let our kids feel like they have control yeah we'll say okay well what do you want to do for this yeah fast? we just did it tonight and we did it tonight with yeah. our meeting because we just starting ours mm -hmm. um but previously in past to come we give them the options outside mm -hmm. we agent always comes in and sets the purpose and the vision which we're going to get to mm -hmm. and then after that, he gives us an overview of what we're going to do as a family. And yes. then as he gives us the overview of what we're going to do as a family, mm -hmm. then he asks us, okay, personally, outside of that, yes. what are you going to do? Yes. And when we give our children those options, then you'll be surprised how <laughs> deep they go. It is Because true. they'll go deeper. My kids yes. have been, okay, well, I'll go all water. For yes. A while. It's amazing. Like, okay. You can, you know, <laughs> they push us. <laughs> you going to do this? You going to do that? No, I'll do this or I'll do that. Yes. And... You know, they say a child will lead them. So yes. make sure you get everyone involved so that when you talk about it, mm -hmm. you talk about getting rid of the distractions, it doesn't become a fight with your kids yes. because they feel like this is something they want to do and they have mm -hmm. control in. Yes. Our family, we have came together as one to agree to fast. We took time out to explain to our children exactly what was the fast. The same exact keys that we'll give you now, we gave them to our kids. Matter of fact, we just got through wrapping up with our son. He was in tune, okay, what type of music should I listen to? You know, we tell them, listen to things that are gonna help you with your worship. This this is another stage in life that we're working with him with, is to understand how to really worship the king. So now I'm encouraging him, not making them, not making them parents, right not making them parents <laughs> but i'm encouraging him to listen to worship music so he can shape his spirit man to understand how to massage the lord right so right. that's and then i know some people could be saying okay he's asking you now just to clear this up right <laughs> uh, he's asking what kind of mer music to listen to well, what mm -hmm. kind of music has he been listening right. to so he's been listening to crazy music well our son is a teenager mm -hmm. our, we have children just right. like you have children and we don't Put them in a box to where we say you only right. have to listen to a certain type Correct. of music. Mm -hmm. We make sure that we address to them, use the Holy Spirit and great discernment of right. what is appropriate yes. and what is not appropriate, Correct. what is offensive and what is not offensive. Because mm -hmm. so all music is not bad. All music is yeah. not bad. It's just that some music is immoral. Yes. And so we allow <laughs> them to listen to some secular music as long right. as it's not immoral. Or degrading or, women or and things you see. Right, or talking right. about sexual activities mm -hmm. because as a young man, those are distractions. Yes, it is. And you can say, oh, well, my kids don't listen to this in the house. Your kids <laughs> you don't know if what they're have, listening to you outside your whole your house. Home, they're working out in the gym right. that plays all kind of music. They're riding on the buses. Yes, they listen the to it. Kids who play and listen all They are music. listening to it, they're mom in and the dad. Classroom where the teacher <laughs> yes. plays 
all kind of music. Don't be surprised. We're telling you. In the mall, they're playing all kind yes. of music. So come down for those who may have went off a little bit. Uh-huh. I just want to bring you back. We still hold it. We ain't can I, can I give them an example? I, I remember when I was maybe 12 or 13 years old and my mom, she was, she was just getting to the point where she was understanding the king and she wouldn't let me listen to no music at all. But I end up going over to my auntie's house and I would just, they listen to secular music. So I never forget the MC Hammer song came out. Can't touch it. I was in a room doing a hammer and I was getting at it hard and I was enjoying the secular music. And I turned around, my mama was right behind me. I said, oh, Lord, I thought I was in trouble. But it just to get it. Like right, everybody like Right, again, parents, do not, I need to get off of this. Do not be surprised with your kids listening to secular music. <laughs> Don't be surprised. I'm telling you now, they are listening to it. They may act like they're holy around you, but they are not. They, they know. They cut up when they, they get out of you, you let a song come, a song, one of their favorite songs come on or something, they're going to be like, boom, boom. you be like, how you know that song there? So, and they, they get, know it happens because they'll be in the store. They'll right. be in somebody's house and they play something <laughs> and the kids seen and they looking like, <laughs> you know oh, you they can't be faking. Tell they, they tell their kids before they get out. Right. Don't you act up? <laughs> Don't act up. <laughs> you better not sing that one song. You better not go. Y'all know how y'all do. Yeah, you know they do. listen to us. So, but again, just give your kids the option. To allow, allow them to know that during the fast, you want to make sure that you keep all distraction out. You want to minimize the distraction and only focus on the things that are going, that's going to help build your spirit, help you understand worship, help them to understand how to worship and massage our, our king. Because believe it or not, when mm-hmm. you allow them to do that, that builds their relationship yes, with God. Yes, it does. It does. So the next thing we're going to go into is about how the fast, why fast why fast is because it can also be great for your health as well. I'm going to let the Miss Scientist lady who like to talk about those type of things. She's an environmental science person. I'm not. So I'm just an operations guru and business guy. But I, but about the, the health and science field, that's her right here. Go ahead. I'm going to let you have that part there. <laughs> what? No. It's just basically... Now you say that, and then you say health wise. Then you, last video you said, "Well, I ain't gonna say nothing about your weight." <laughs> but no, seriously, it is very good for us. Yes, it during is during the fast time. I know I'm looking forward to it. We all are. It is a great cleaning process mm-hmm. because you get to get rid of a lot of the toxins that we believe it or not, we're taking a lot of toxins yes, in do. our body daily just by walking outside with yes. all the different factories and the cars and mm-hmm. things, and then. With the food and drinks that we're taking, we have chemicals in our water, yes. we have food, chemicals in, and all of these additives and different things in our food and that cleanser. we're taking now. When we, get, when we fast, that gives our body an opportunity mm-hmm. to cleanse and detox and yes. get rid of all of those toxins. Mm-hmm. And believe it or not, some of those things that you're eating are, is actually what's causing cancer in yes. your body. Yes. So when you fast, you allow your body to replenish itself. Because mm-hmm. our body is built to to replenish. That's why when we have cuts and things like right. that, you know, they begin to heal. The human body is like amazing. That. Our body is built to rebuild itself. Mm-hmm. So during our, the fasting part, when you get rid of the food, when you cut down on all that heavy meat and all yes. of that bread and all of those things that clog your arteries you, and clog your... You said bread? I love bread, but I got to get rid of it. Because <laughs> bread gives you love, houndos. Bread adds to the bottom, Jim. It's something about, I don't know why it will. The fans help get the rid of those love houndos. The, the bottom part of the bottom, bottom, bottom. bottom Stay away from the jiffy. I don't like jiffy. You like jiffy. I love jiffy. But they do put them love houndos on you, though. Yeah, it does. But we're going to stay focused on being yes. healthy. Oh, yes, we are. Healthy. We are. A different but year. it's good too because when mm-hmm. we get rid of all of that nasty stuff yes, that we've does. been putting in our bodies, you know, because that bread it clumps up yes. and it sticks. If you ever paid attention to how the bread just sticks to the root of your mouth mm-hmm. and things like that, it kind of sticks to your intestinal yes, walls. Is. And I won't go all graphic on y'all, yeah. but drinking a lot of mm-hmm. water and cutting out a lot of the foods and things that you're going to cut out during the fast Definitely. starts a healthy process for you. And believe it or not, mm-hmm. once you start, they say when the you start something for 21 days, right. it becomes a habit. Yes. Um, so you'll have a lot of great positive things that mm-hmm. will work for you and you'll begin to feel revitalized right. and refreshed and you begin to wake up With a lot energy. early and you have more energy mm-hmm. and you're not as sluggish and you know, you're healthy and whole for your kids and for your families yes. or if you're by yourself, you're more alert at work Definitely or are. Um, a part of the activities. You have more strength and energy doing a lot of exercising yes. and stuff like that. Exercise is um, good But too. exercising is good. Very good. But depending on the fast that you own, you have to do exercise in moderate 
rations. Yes. Don't want to overexert yourself. Yeah. Because said fans, if you're doing just an absolute fast, nothing but water, then that's pretty tough on your body because your your energy is doing everything it can to keep your body intact. So if you're going and doing extra activities as far as running and stuff, I would advise you doing the fast, if you're doing an absolute fast with just water or no water at all, then just, that was one of them days still you want to just that's, distill that's moment to where you want to. you kind of just be still, but yeah. you don't need to exert any extra yes, energy. Yes, definitely. You have to preserve your energy. Yes. Um, But when you're having some food and mm -hmm. some liquid, then it's okay to exercise. You moderately everything. exercise. Yes. You know, you feel the symptoms of being lightheaded. And mm -hmm. the lightheaded this comes with the fasting because your body is first trying to adjust about the first two feeding. or three days like, yeah first couple of days you're gonna yeah. have some little side effects yes. of not eating which would probably be headaches and yeah. a little nausea or different things like that yes. that's normal um but then if you're under just your doctor, body fighting <laughs> right and then if you're under doctor's care mm -hmm. for certain health reasons then you may have to modify right your fast as well yep. so make sure you do what's best for you definitely don't allow us or anyone to tell you to do certain things when you know it's not beneficial for you definitely. that is the importance of you fasting mm -hmm. and hearing god for yourself and knowing what it is that he needs you to do because the fast is so it's only supposed to be for god yes for god's is. relationship and definitely. your relationship with remember god. that and then if you're doing a corporate fast mm -hmm. then you come in agreements under the covering of whoever you with they give you things to do then you follow mm -hmm. those guidelines and then if it's certain things then Mm -hmm. you know. On to our next point. So the next point, point number three, is things that you must do during the fast. The first thing that you must do during the fast, you definitely want to have a purpose for your fast. You don't want to just fast, just say right. I'm fasting. Have a purpose and have a vision. The first thing that I always have done is I sit down with my family, I give them the purpose of this fast, what we're doing this year, and I give them the vision of what we want to accomplish as a family during this fast. So just say for instance, we have a, uh, one of our topics is to just to gain a deeper understanding of our destiny while we're here in Canada. We, we are always consistent driving to find okay god what's next what's next what you have for us so that's one of the topics that we have and then we also have given our, each one of our kids their own separate uh um item to fast for so we can join them in a in a household family uh prayer to make sure they can reach the goal they have to as well so that's very important definitely make sure that you always have a vision and a purpose of the fans and whatever you do make sure you're in agreements with your especially with your spouse there are things right. that that you, that you can go into with the fans that uh, i would say relational things that you want to make sure that you relational? <laughs> i would say relational <laughs> things with your spouse that you want to make sure that you both agree not her agreeing that she just gonna go no, no sexual activity that she's gonna go and I ain't said nothing about that cuz no nah, we you know what I'm saying we have to be in both agreeing but on real you both want to make sure that you agree you don't want to do a start doing right. things that she's not doing that's not going to be a benefit for her or right. whatever so just right. make sure you, you and your spouse agree because of course we're still talking about marriage things here again it's a lot of we can go but real we have done it yeah, we have done it for a while. We have done it for a while. Me and a group of guys, but I needed some counseling with that. I needed some real men around me with that one, but we have done it for a while. And uh, but we the flesh on it. But it, once again, that goes from faith to faith, faith level to, faith. to level. Yes, so it we're did. not challenging anybody. Yes. We're not telling, <laughs> no, I'm not telling not one of you females not yeah. to have sex with your husband. Yes. That is not <laughs> the thing to That's do. That's not what you we're not saying. to withhold and not give up yes. anything. It is your obligations to please your husband. Mm -hmm. So being Mary Jane won't be yeah. being Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but so make sure you all are in agreement. So we'll keep on. So the next thing is, is to how set expectations out of it so if you have a vision a purpose expect those things to come to pass during this fast because remember you're going into the super super supernatural even though we should be there a lot but you're going you're tapping in so deep that you want to make sure that everything you put down your vision and your purpose that you have expectation that those things will come to pass okay and then the next thing that you have to do during the fast you have oh, yeah. to pray most you important first most thing first. first thing first you cannot and we probably should have pulled that up top but we wanted to make sure that we can have time to really uh, emphasize the importance of praying during your fast mm -hmm. it was once said that you can you can pray without fasting but you can't fast without praying mm -hmm. uh, and we can go to a different level the importance of us praying that gives our king authority on the earth through us. Right. So when we fast, then that means we're having more crystal clearing. We are being more su submitted to our king. He hears us 
more with the fast. But now we have now we really have a big opportunity okay. to pray for those things to come to life here on earth through us. And that's right, through us. Whatever so needs to be whatever done. needs to be done. So again, we gave you those great things. It's a season of for the most of the most of the world right now. They are fasting right now. So we want to make sure that we gave you the opportunity to understand what is a fast, especially for you, those of you all that have never fasted before, that I have a lot of questions. And if you have more questions, feel free to right. shoot us an email call or us call us or, or Instagram us, I message us. You can get in contact with us several different ways. Mm -hmm. And we definitely want to make sure that you remember the first thing is first, fast. What, what, what is fasting and praying? We cover that with you. The second thing is why you need to fast and pray. And then the third thing is things that you must do during the fast. Right. So we want we just thank you all for tuning in. Again, for those of you all that want to give into what we're doing here in Cater, Texas, we thank you all in advance. Yes. And those that are, have already partnered with us, we love you all. Thank you all. We thank that you all could, will continue to give into this good ground, this good work that we're doing here in Cater, Texas. So if you didn't know about the fast, now you know. Peace. We love you all. Hope you all have a great 2015. Stay tuned. Now you know too.com. Love you all.